everybody! I know it's been forever since I made a video and some of you have been asking me um, what happened or why was I missing in action all this while? Um, honestly, a mix of pandemic, existential crisis, a lot of um, depression, difficulties, and a very profound, long self-healing journey that I committed myself to the last few years. So I'm doing this video all of a sudden because I randomly felt like sharing with you guys some anxiety hacks that nobody tells you about. Weirdest anxiety hacks you'll ever hear. But they all target your nervous system. I'm gonna back you up with these three tips I have for your work. So let's get started. The first tip I have for you, you probably heard of this one before. This one isn't as rare in comparison to the other two that I'm gonna show you, but this one has done miracles for me. Ice. You place a bag of ice on your chest, targeting the vagus nerve. You're gonna find relief in around five to 10 minutes. The vagus nerve is a nerve in your nervous system responsible for a lot of autonomous functions of your body, including your breath. If you're the type of person that feels like chest tightness whenever you're having an anxiety episode, um, targeting the vagus nerve is one of the best things you can do. We're going from ice earlier to fire. Get a candle, light it up, and you're gonna stare at it for a while. Stare at it for as long as you can. The reason why I'm suggesting fire, it's because I think the day we discovered fire for the first time, it was somehow imprinted in our genetics and has been passed down from our ancestors to us. Have you ever been around a bonfire and notice how everybody feels this huge need to get close to it and watch it burn and, and see all the sparks and all the cinders. Have you ever noticed that? If you haven't, then you should go have a bonfire and invite your friends and you'll see what I mean. We have this innate calling to appreciate fire that I feel has a really calming effect. Obviously when it's under control. Don't go doing crazy things, kids, okay? All right, so Tip number three, listen to your heartbeat. I'm not talking about listening to your heart and following the call that your heart has for you. I'm talking about literally listening to it with a stethoscope. Pretty simple. You're gonna do the same thing that the doctor does every time you're going for a visit. Left side of your chest and listen to your heartbeat. must have around at least 70 BPM at the moment. <laughs> I discovered this hack a date that I was at work and I made a huge mistake. I'm not gonna talk about what that mistake was, but I was terrified about my boss murdering me, among other things. I had this in my car. Um, aside from being a filmmaker, I'm a certified emergency first responder. So obviously we carry around a good emergency first aid kit. So I put these on and I forgot about the world. This is a beautiful way of connecting with yourself. Lay back in a bed or somewhere comfortable and try it out and see. You're gonna notice how your heart rate starts going slower and slower and slower and slower as time goes by. So, give that a shot. Let me know if you try it out and if it works for you. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. If you have any other questions about this, I hope these help you as much as they have helped me. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.